just making a video here about uh, how to possibly build a go-kart. Uh, different uh, ideas uh, I've had and used uh, between uh, this one here and uh, the one I show in the uh, vertical to horizontal uh, Briggs engine video there. Uh, you see here I got it drawn out in paper. Uh, just to give a couple dimensions here. But this uh, particular one, the one shown in the vertical to horizontal 3.5 horse Briggs engine video there, it's uh, 48 inches from uh, the center of the front tire to the center of the back tire. It's a little hard to see here, I admit that, just due to the contrast, but I basically got the tires drawn in and the, the motor sitting there, and then uh, the seat, and the seat is actually similar to uh, uh, this one here, actually I think it's the same seat but uh, it's just a, a stackable type chair that I got uh, fairly cheap um, so <clears throat> that was the first thing to lay out your uh, axle centers uh, this uh, go-kart here with the three inch aluminum frame is uh, somewhat longer than that uh, but uh, what I used was uh, I believe they're about 10 inch tall hand cart tires and they're a little different tread than the one on the go-kart but they're the same thing the size on them is uh, 410 by 3.5 by 4 and these particular ones have a 5 8 inch bore one thing that's pretty important is uh, you want a uh, steel you want a metal uh, hub to it uh, the other ones won't have the strength to take it uh, fortunately I got some rain coming down here now so I can't keep the paper out for too long but the other thing I did there was draw a uh, cross section of the wheel and uh, showing the uh, kingpin basically something similar to um, that and uh, on the go-kart we built we used uh, rod ends for the steering this particular one comes from the uh, steering shaft over to one side and then uses a link clear across to the other side uh, on the other one we went uh, from the middle uh, each direction with uh, rod ends so there's all kinds of different ways. This particular go-kart here is uh, one wheel drive, a chain drive on one side, and then uh, it's got some pretty cheap brakes on it, uh, just uh, these uh, steel pads that uh, scrub on the tires. Uh, the other go-kart, we got a little fancier than that. We, uh, it's similar, one wheel drive and one wheel brake, but the brake on it, we used, uh, made it, um, a disc brake up uh, from uh, uh, using a car master cylinder and things like that and uh, machined up our own uh, brake rotor but uh, the other option of course is to use a uh, uh, live axle and have uh, both wheel drive that's probably a little better in gravel and stuff but uh, one wheel drive seems to work pretty good too um, like I say the steering I think the best thing is just go to the junkyard and find a uh, car steering wheel they're pretty good and they're safe you know if you get in an accident you, you originally this one had a bent u-shaped piece of pipe on it that's not safe uh, you know you catch that in the stomach or something that could kill you so at least the car steering wheel is pretty safe and uh, I think on uh, the one we made it was a half inch uh, uh, steering rod half or three eighths I don't remember but down to like I said uh, you know uh, joints at the front and that but anyway I don't want to keep this video too too long here so uh, I'll give you some more ideas on uh, go-kart building on uh, another video